Hello, today we'll show you how to fix Vmode headphones if one side is not working in both Bluetooth and cable modes. The first step is to remove the AirPod cushions on both sides. Then play a touch screw test video with sound only on the broken side and move the cables around to find the exact spot where the wire is possibly damaged. If the sound comes back, even for a moment, you found the damaged spot and it needs to be repaired. You can check my previous videos for repairing instructions for this type damage. In my case, it couldn't find a damaged spot. So, the next step is to check another possible damage point. Maybe it's possible that speaker driver is damaged. Unscrew the side of the headphones that isn't working. There's also a battery inside, but I will show you how to replace that in another video using a multimeter to check if the cable from the board to the speaker driver is in working conditions. If the cable is fine, test the speaker driver itself to see if its voice coil is working. In my case, the speaker driver was dead. My multimeter showed no resistance, meaning the speaker was dead. The bad news is that Vimo does not not offer replacement speakers, the good news is that you can find aftermarket ones. Once you desold the device from the speaker, remove the old speaker and take off the protective grill. The next step is to find a correct size speaker driver for this model. Unfortunately, most drivers will be too small. These V-Mode headphones use huge 50mm speaker drivers. Luckily, I managed to find a new replacement driver on an online shopping platform. The link is in the video description. The new speaker looks very similar and the good news is that it works. Now place the metal grill on the new speaker. Insert the new speaker back into the headphone housing with its contact facing down. Solder the wires back correctly, the red wire to the red market contact and the gold wire to the other contact. Then remove the speaker driver from the housing again and apply a small amount of flexible glue to fix it in the place. Do not use super glue as it will forever fix the speaker in place, making future repairs impossible. Next, screw the headphones back together and put back AirPod cushions. If you have troubles putting the AirPods back on, check out my previous video for a detailed guide on replacing AirPods. Now turn on the headphones and test them. Great, both sides are working again and I can enjoy my music. If you notice a difference in sound between the stock and replacement speaker, I recommend replacing the other stock speaker with an aftermarket driver as well to ensure balanced and symmetrical sound. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks and good luck!